Hey guys, it is Christy K and I am back with a video. Um, right now my hair is deep conditioning. I just washed my hair this morning. It's still the summertime and I'll be honest with you, I'm exhausted. I do not want to comb my hair. A protective style is so necessary. So now I'm going to braid my hair, but I'm going to show you guys my hack because I love having long, like blonde braids. I'm going to enter a picture right here. These are my favorite braids be slang and they look good. However, I used to braid my full head all the way down, be at home all day doing it. But now we got a little hack. We got these right here. These be in the middle. So um, I usually buy my hair two toned already. I buy it like this. I ordered from Amazon and like a few packs. That's the easiest way for me to find what I want. Beauty supplies are hit or miss. And that's not long enough. So because the braids are two toned, I'll have a little bit of hair like this. And I take that and I mix it towards the end to make sure it goes and it mixes. So if you want to see how this turns out, keep watching. Okay, so I rinsed my conditioner out my hair and now I'm going to separate it into fours so I can start the process of drying it. For my leave-in, I'm gonna use this Living Proof Restore Protecting Spray. So I'm gonna spray that first. Also, I want it to be mostly dry. I don't care if it's fully dry because I don't really like putting heat in my hair like that anyway. It's not fully dry, but for me, this is dry enough. It's not like I'm about to press it or anything, so. I'm fine with that. So this is a lot, so I'm gonna split this in twos. Okay, so my hair is mostly dry. I have to be fully dry because I'm still gonna moisturize it with my Belanin Long Lasting Definition. And then I'm gonna use my Shine Jam for my parts. So I'm gonna have a middle part. That's mandatory. Okay, so that's my middle part. I'm kind of making a circle because this is the hair that I want to leave out. Put that up. The back, I can't even see. I'm really just guessing right now. So I got a crochet in the middle. So I'm just gonna do a little something so this could stay. It's gonna be perfect. So I'm probably just gonna twist it right now. Then for the rest, I'm just gonna continue this middle part down. And I'm just gonna start parting braids. This part, I'm a little bit more lenient about, like they don't have to be perfect. Nobody's really gonna see these anyway. I sign Shine Jam. So we're gonna hit that along the part. And I'm moisturize my hair, my melanin cream. So I didn't have to be all the way dry because I knew I was gonna do this anyway. When we get to the ends, I wanna comb it out because I'm gonna connect all of my ends at the end. I need them to be ready to go. Got a little clip right there so it can stay. I'm just gonna continue to part and add more braids 
these braids are going to be the base and this is what's going to be what my crochet braid sticks to. So I'm almost done with them. I'm going to turn around and give you like a side view to see what they look like. Keep combing them out and they're all left out because again I got to braid them all together to connect them. I find that it's easier this way instead of having them braided down individually and needed to tie them all up individually. Honestly I'm a little lazy about this because once they're done I take them and I put them up with the bobby pin because when I put the braids on them I'm going to actually um, loop it there so it's going to cover that and I don't have to sew it but really I should have sewed it. Now for the main event the actual individual braids there are going to be some I probably have maybe like 30-ish braids in my hair which is way less than what it normally be so I take my two-tone hair and I start the braid I get to braiding it down real good and then once I feel like I have a good grip with my hair and it's braided down far enough I'm going to make sure it's neat enough and then I'm going to go ahead and grab like that blonde hair that was by itself but I'm going to clip it first while I separate it so it doesn't undo my work and I'm just going to feed it in and basically that's just the process that's going to be all over my head so I'm doing it again but this is what I'm going to be doing in the front and the back to have my braids so that I can wear them up or down or however I like to. And basically same process all over just make sure I have good parts because I can see what I'm doing in the front parts I want to make sure that they are um, as even as possible and the shine gem is cool it kind of slipped a little bit in the front but we're here now but you see it's going the job is getting done it's really the same process in the back except I really can't see that much and I should have grabbed a mirror but again I'll be lazy about the back because you can't really see it. More shine jam, put it on the parts and I'm just going to part away and start adding my individuals to the back. Like I said it's really no different from the front so I'm just going to braid out until I have my back and my sides full. And again I'm going to continue to add that extra blonde hair. Um, and I'm adding that so I can have the desired length because the way that the pack hair came, it just wasn't long enough. And the crochet braids are long enough. I needed them to be able to fit the length of the braids. I just wanted to stand real quick to give you guys an idea of how long that they are. They're pretty long and I have made it to the front. The final few, I'm going to add those in before I start crocheting and filling in my hair so that it's completely full. I swear when I'm braiding I feel like the final two, three always take the longest but y'all we almost at the finish line like no more braiding and I'm so glad I only had all of these. I said that it was probably going to be 30 but I, I think there's more like 30 in the front but still either way y'all like it would be way 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 more if I braided my whole head like this so you get what I'm saying. Front is finally done. I'm impressed. I'm going to flip around and let you see the back. And as you can see, I got the little crochet hook. You stick that through. Then you pull the braid through. You hook it through and pull it through the hole. And basically, that's what I'm going to do all over the back of my head. And it's going to fill it out. Like, I know those two little braids are kind of thick. But because of how it is, it covers it. And you're not able to really see it. I know it's there, but you can't see it, so I don't really care to make it better. Like I said, I'm continuing the process. That one got stuck a little bit. It was fighting me, but it was going to come through. Boom, it's through. Ain't no way it wasn't coming through. And right there is also too where I'm covering up the braid that's sticking up. So that it doesn't stick through since I didn't sew it down like I should have and then just gonna continue the process with the rest of it until I'm done really have you guys ever crocheted your own hair or tried crochet braids um comment down below let me know how you like them I know you see that sticking up but don't worry about it by the end it's not I'm gonna take care of it and boom 
tying it in, it's gonna lay down. At this point, it's officially laid, so I'm just gonna finish the rest and do it around that. So this is the finished look. I like to pull it back, um, and as you can see, actually I'm gonna do a little spin for y'all. I have my hair braided in a circle, so I don't wanna put it up I can. I like to pull it back so it's out the way. But this is what it looks like. And of course, it's ridiculously long because that's how I like it. I like my hair long. This is my little hack, you guys. Now this did take a while, but it would have took even longer if I would have braided these long braids in my own hair. If you're not subscribed already, make sure that you subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Mwah.